<laughs> so the, finally, the, this season being really, really late, I don't know why they start only now, but no one is really doing it. Finally, they just starting all this farming. There is an um, episode I made last year. You can check it out there on that corner. Um, usually they starting straight after rain season while this year I don't know they just starting it's already end of the July and only now the yeah yeah you no uh, huh? so yeah I have no idea why it's like this um, as I understood from the people that no one is really buying uh, salt and they still have a lot of salt left from the previous season and there's no point to to do anything with that just talk to the cattle local expert salt expert <laughs> there he is and he said it's nothing about actually um, it's nothing about uh, that nobody is buying the salt actually there's a lot of now they exporting salt also to the France. There are so many companies buying and they can sell it for pretty good money. Uh, but the problem is actually at the moment that the salt season didn't come yet because it's been pretty heavy rains, which is absolutely unusual. And uh, like for example, the last rains we usually had in the beginning of the May, while this year we got the rain also in July now it's a kind of clear that there will not be rains anymore so that's why only now they are start farming little by little like for example uh, we have this fields this guy is already farming there are some fields but also as you can see this one is not ready yet only there and a little bit on the back over there so that's the only only areas uh, that's the only areas where they are farming at the moment <clears throat> uh, but yeah they found the way how to export it and uh, definitely they can earn more money than uh, for selling it locally and uh, Ahmed salt is really really special because of the soil uh, but I've been talking about that during the another episode I was mentioned and uh, because of the soil the taste of the salt is uh, really really specific and and kind of it giving a different taste to the food but actually today i wanted to talk about diving i remember when we started diving doing diving trips and we were always considering how many dives we're going to do during this diving trip and uh, that's something you also have to consider of course any dive center is interested that you're diving as much as possible but you have to think about can you can you fulfill this plan or not really like for example we're going for the holidays and we we think that's the ideal project or ideal ideas that we will during the this holiday we will run every single morning while finally we're giving up after a couple of days or we are not starting at all because we always find some reason to not to do to not do it uh, so so for example you think okay I deserve this holiday so why to run I have to rest and you're just simply giving up the same thing is also with the diving uh, like for example you arrive in some beautiful tro tropical destination and you plan that you will dive two three four dives a day and finally you're giving up just because you start feeling that you are not taking a rest but you are working kind of working all these dives takes a lot of effort to get into the water to swim so finally there is also this uh, nitrogen and that's why you're feeling so so simply tired the same time you would like to see something from the country as well well finally you're giving up on all these things just because you are too tired
So that's why first of all think about how many dives a day you do. We'll give some examples from my previous uh, trips and uh, how I would do it if I would uh, go to some destination and I would plan a diving. Okay, so if it's diving safari, it's a little bit different thing. During the diving safari, there is kind of unlimited uh, diving packages. So you can do as many dives you want. If it's not some remote destinations, like for example, Raja Ampat, or for example, Sudan, where the diving safaris are organized in the places, really remote places where no any recompression chambers, and then they trying to limit the amount of the dives you do just simply if you will do too many and if you will not follow the strict plan of your diving so then what will happen you will get the decompression sickness just simply you violate a little bit no decompression stop for one time then another time and then finally it's just building up all this nitrogen in your tissues and finally you get banded um, so Diving safari is definitely one thing because you don't have to move anywhere. It's just sleep, eat, dive, sleep, eat, dive, dive, eat, sleep. And all in this sequence. You choose this sequence and that's, that's the same. If you're diving from the shore, I would never do more than two, three dives. Like two dives in the morning and then one night dive would be more than enough in many places you cannot do the night dive so i will stop on only on a two dives a day just simply if you do three dives a day then it becomes like a kind of really tiring just because there's a so much movement between the dives like you did a dive in the morning then you eat the breakfast then you go for the next dive then you come back then you eat and after eating plus nitrogen you definitely become really lazy at the next moment when you're coming out of your room hotel room that will be dinner and then even then you will be really really lazy but because of your the feeling of the hunger then only that will make you move towards some restaurant or cafe and again how many days in a row you will do the diving always plan I don't know two days diving and then one day for the excursion uh, just simply because if you do like like for example some people coming for to Bali for one month and they plan that they will do three dives a day but then I see them in the end of the first week and I understand they would like to give up on this plan but because they paid already all this deposit for it uh, for all the dives so then I have to go keep going because no one will really return this money uh, the one of the best ways how you how to do it is like for example what I would advise and what I usually do is come to the place um, do a couple of dives and then you clearly see what diving is there and that's it and then you did then you make a decision to continue it or to maybe stop and focus on another things it's always um i don't know every time when i'm going somewhere it's in some places uh, in some places you understand you're diving just because you want to dive the dives are not the worse that money what you pay for them uh, in some places you it's never enough because just dives are super amazing it really depends also of the dive scent, how interested it is the dive center to show you the interesting places. Like many dive centers don't want to waste the time and energy on something special. They just bring them all the customers to same places. And of course, uh, you, you as a customer feel it and you simply give up. So that's why I think that one of the most important things is really to focus on um, is really to focus on the dive center to choosing a dive center because depending on the dive center depending on instructors you will see the passion of all the things or you will not see the any passion that's all what i wanted to talk today because nothing really happened today um, 
tomorrow I will probably go back to Bunotan, we'll try to get out the net. I'm pretty sure I will be able to do it this time. Just because simply I prepared everything and all I need is to attach the lift back to it and get to the surface. And when I will get to the surface I really have to think where to go with it towards shore and uh, and beach it out or keep going but it's you know how I can keep going with all this net just because simply what a, what a kind of diving it will be if I will dive with a net super uncomfortable so probably I will do it but probably I will just go to the beach and we'll, we'll get it out all right that's it for today smash this thumbs up button if you like this video follow subscribe and see you tomorrow again bye